Your face tattoos. Yeah. And you have tattoos all over your body, yes? Yes. Uh, actually, I have a, a couple on my chest, but not, not. Just mostly what you see up here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, which one was the first one, actually? Uh, n uh, a no Face from Spirited Away. Uh, this is my favorite anime movie. I'm a big uh, Studio Gilby. Uh, yeah, I think I, oh God, if I butchered the name. But um, yeah, uh, My Neighbor Totoro, Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle. I was a big, like, how do you, I just don't, uh, Howie, Howie, Mi Howie Miyazaki. I, I might have butchered it, but they know <laughs> what I'm talking about. I was a big fan. I uh, grew up on it. And uh, the second one was this. And I will never tell people, or maybe one day I'll tell people what this means. Uh, it's a little, it's a little corny. But, but the uh, first tattoo was the the big one right there on yeah, the, the inside the, of your wrist. Yeah, the no. How face. old were you when you got that? I was probably seventeen when I got my first tattoo. Seventeen. Uh -huh. And then when you actually went for your face, your first yeah. face tattoo, how old were you? I was eighteen. <laughs> eighteen. And yeah. which one was the first one on your face? Uh, it was the candy. Uh, it's, <laughs> I'm so stupid. It's this side, right? All right, cool. Yes, you, I'm like, un right. I'm so yeah. uncoordinated. Ask anybody about me. I'm just, I always forget, and it's so stupid. But yeah, candy. Uh, a lot of people thought it was for eye candy, but I did not do that in any way. It, my mom's name is Candy. Oh. Yeah. So your first tattoo on your face was your mom's name. Yeah, it was my mom's name. Uh, I did it because I wanted a face tattoo, and I was like, my mom's going to kill me. But if it's her name... She might not, <laughs> uh, you know, be too harsh about it and whatnot. <laughs> now, what was her reaction of the tattoo? I uh, I had called her like uh, an hour before and told her I was getting a face tattoo. I didn't tell her what it was, but um, she was uh, she was pretty shook. But she said, uh, "Do." She's very supportive. She said, "Do uh, do whatever you think works best." And uh, I came home and surprised her with uh, her name on my. Uh, so you didn't? Did you even tell her it was gonna be your name, or you just said no? I, did, face I didn't tattoo. tell her it was. Good. She had no idea what it was gonna be. Like she just was like, Diego, you are so ignorant. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Now, were you still in school when you got that? No, I uh, I dropped out uh, three months into freshman year. Oh, so yeah. Ninth grade, you dropped out. Yeah, I was, uh, but I was like tardy, missing classes in sixth grade. Like I, I was, see. I was never in school. So school was like never for me, kind of. But 18-year-olds, was it uh, around where you live, where you're from, was it, was it, I mean, not everybody gets face tattoos, so I don't want to use no. the word common, but was a bunch of people having face tattoos, or were you one of the early ones where you're from to have? Uh, literally, for I, your age. For, I'm from Redlands, California. It's like an hour east of uh, Los Angeles. It's like a, population's probably like 100,000 people, so it's not a real big city. Uh, like, not, not a lot of, like, sh can, oh, wait, oh, can I curse too? Yes. Not a lot of shit happens out there, um, but I was definitely, they don't see, if you have a face tat out there, it's like you banging, a, like, you know, you rapping or something, you part of, like, a gang or a crew, it's, like, real bad out there, uh, so when I walk around, people think, you know, they think I'm, like, in a gang and shit, but I'm not in any, any fucking gang, um, but now that I got the face tat, a lot of my friends, uh, they started picking up the idea, and now I'm seeing a, a little bit more people from my hometown get in the face tats. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Now, you could have put that tattoo anywhere on your body, but why actually go for the face? Why have a face tattoo? I know you wanted one, but yeah. why? Um, I think I wanted to do it on my face because, like, I, I just like to go all fucking out. Like, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to, like, fully commit to something, like, I was originally a photographer and I was committed. I wanted to be, you know, the next big photographer. Like that's where, um, that's why I, like, I wanted to work and all that. Like, but at one of uh, uh, my homies' uh, shows, Stephen Cannon, I put my camera down by the DJ booth and uh, someone <laughs> unfortunately stole it. Mm. And uh, I was like devastated. Uh, it was like a present from my parents. It was like $2,000 or something. And, uh, you know, um, like, I just said, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just counted my losses. All my friends were rappers. So I was like, well, how much is it to, like, record at your guys' studio? And they were like, just shoot them shoot $20 and we'll mix your stuff down. And I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> like, why not? You know, all my friends are rapping. Uh, might as well, like, try. I felt like I had a cool voice, maybe. Mm. And that's how I really got into rap. 
So not only did somebody steal your camera, they stole your dream. <laughs> no, if they, <laughs> if they had not stolen that camera, I would not be living my dream today because I would have never started rapping and I wouldn't even be in Atlanta with you right now. Mm. Yeah. So Crazy. they actually, you know what? I like thank whoever stole my camera. Like, thank you if you're watching this. Now, the other face tattoos you have, can you share the meanings behind them? Yeah, I got a t three Zs on my uh, right cheek. That one is the only uh, tattoo that I would probably say had no meaning besides I was little Zan and I thought it would be funny uh, to, you know, little Zan always sleepy. Mm. You know? <laughs> and that's not a lie. I'm always nodding off on the road on these airplanes. Like, we travel, we've been traveling so much. So uh, it's definitely a representation of <laughs> how I am, you know? And then uh, the low, I, used, I came from like a little uh, crew called Low Gang. And uh, it was with me, my homie Steven Cannon, Eris Ray, and uh, a bunch of like my old homies. And Low Gang, like, it got us to a certain level, but it evolved into Xanarchy, what we are today, um, you know? We're doing all the merchandise now, and uh, the brand is just going fucking insane. The The movement is insane. Uh, the interaction with the fans is, like, crazy. Like, I'm not used to this. Like, this is all, like, the last two months of my life have been so crazy. It's like that, uh, what do they say? That, like, overnight shit. Like, mm. that's a real overnight thing. Overnight success. Yeah, it's a real thing. Now... We know the reaction you get in your uh, hometown, but what's the reaction you get to your face tattoos when you're out of your hometown, when you're just um, in various the places? I would say the difference is, like, when I'm in my hometown, it's a bunch of, like, old white people assuming that I'm, like, gangbanging or something. And, you know, if their kids are walking by me, they'll be like, Yo, Timmy, move over here or something. <laughs> and uh, it's they're very prejudiced. Um, and then, you know, the like all the gangs NSR and all that shit they uh they'll try to like you know press you and shit you know take your shoes rob your shoes and shit so just because they think you know you're their cripper but because I got a couple of C tattoos that have nothing to do with that mm -hmm. just the fact that they start with C so I've been pressed on that but luckily like never been like robbed or anything mm -hmm. yeah but um outside of town like if I when I moved I just moved to LA just got my apartment like a week ago uh I'm at home in LA uh, you know, people in L.A. are used to seeing uh, hobos walking around literally with their balls hanging to the floor <laughs> on Skid Row, you know. So in L.A., it's, it's nothing. Like, uh, there's not even a second glance. And that's why I had to move out there for my music and because, for me, I just feel more comfortable out there. Have you faced or felt, I mean, we talked about the prejudice-ness, yeah. but has it... Has it gotten any worse past, uh, like, what you kind of described with the uh, the old white people that you said? Oh, I mean, well, When it like, comes to terms of discrimination, stereotyping, oh, profiling. We, we just uh, flew in from New York straight uh, into Atlanta for all these shows for AC3. Uh, and a taxi driver, we was trying to holler at a taxi driver. And uh, they, it was me and my managers. And, you know, they're, like, they're black. And I have face tattoos. And he was, like nah, like, you're not getting in. And I was, we we were, like, about to, like, start denting the car, like, what the fuck do you mean? Like, what, you, there's nobody in your taxi. It's just because I, all my, like, they, they were black and I had face tattoos, so they just see us as, like, fucking, like, misfits trying to cause, like, trouble and shit. And, like, I had never experienced that, and that was the first time, and I thought that was fucking whack. Mm. But I've heard New York's, like, rude like that, like, and shit. Since you've had these face tattoos, and you've had a couple now, any regrets on having face tattoos, period, for you? Before, like, um, before my music started doing good, it, it was going, like, real slow at first. And there was probably, like, a couple months where I was, like, real, like, MIA. Mm -hmm. And, like, uh, like, I was like, fuck, did I make a big mistake getting these face tattoos? Because, you know, with, with what comes with face tattoos is you're pretty much signing off that you're not going to live a normal life whether it be for the good or bad, most times for the bad, you know. Um, luckily, I was fortunate enough to uh, to be blessed with, the, you know, just the good people that helped me get to where I'm at today. So uh, thank you to all those people, you know, because I don't know if what I'd be doing if I wasn't where I'm at with all these face tats. I definitely uh, wouldn't be working uh, anywhere retail. Any plans for more? 
Uh, on the face. On the face. I, I was like, are you going to ask on the face? Because definitely got plans for the, the chest and the arms. But um, the face, my manager has said that uh, I cannot get any more. <laughs> he says we got to keep the face intact. <laughs> so, yeah, no more face tattoos. At least not for now. Yeah, for now. I might disobey him and go get another one. You know, you never know. Every day is a different day.